Hello, and welcome to the Edge of Chaos. I am Chaos, your host, and today we are playing Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Wink is now a monk. He, he's sitting in the monk seat. You can actually build a fire, but you cannot sit by the fire. You know what? Let's do that real quick. I, I, I find it amusing. I wanted to know one day, and then I found out, so... Um, oh, crap. We're gonna have to put away. Oh, come on. Step. Step that. Come on. Jump up. Very corner. Turn around. There we go. He, he's very finicky, so we're going to hold. We're going to drop. Uh, what weapons do we have? Oh, why not? Oh! <laughs> that is a very sideways, sideways fire. But it will still invite me to sit next by it. Not a good time. I have done that better than that, but... Yay. We got what we got. I might try again another time. Um, I am playing on my alt profile because, um, mistakes were made and I deleted my face cam and all my audio from my last episode. I had to re-record this. I spent, oh, the entire day yesterday recording I was up to like episode 16 on the other on the on this profile and this is episode 29 I had to go through it all I didn't do everything I did in the other episodes but I very much opened the map and it, it's been a trial And I wish I would have recorded it because I had some glorious moments that could not be repeated if I tried. My new obsession is Chubble Bubble. It is not exact. There is kid friendly stuff there, but it's not kid friendly. I, I absolutely love my Chubble Bubble. Uh, they're funny stickers. I have a lot of stickers that I got from them that I absolutely adore. I if you like uh, the dark side of humor, you will absolutely love Chubble Bubble. I am not, I am not sponsored by them, but I am a hundred percent endorsing them. They have a sticker club where you pay five, ten, twenty-five dollars a month, and they send you stuff every month. The new stickers. Uh, exclusive gear and I'm like all for it so like I did the 25 and I'm so excited because that'll show up later this month well by the time this airs it will have already shown up but I think I want to do like unboxings of those because like it's an amazing thing I absolutely adore them oh sorry I'm stealing your bow yes I need I need a new one Yes, yes. Thank you. Alright, now that's the wrong one. I'm actually going up to the top of our meadow. Uh, and I forget what direction it's in. It's in a direction. Ah, it's in that direction. Here we go. And we're just going to drop into this because there is some luminous stone. You know, I may actually admit I have a problem with luminous stone. I, I am a massive collector of it. I, I may need to just own that. No, cancel, don't eat. Hold. I, I, I may need to actually admit 
I, I have a problem. But the question is, do I need help? I don't think the answer to that is yes. Yet. I haven't... I, I don't think I've gotten Link killed trying to collect Luminous Stone. If I got him killed, then maybe I'd think about, yeah, it's a problem. But I don't think it's a problem. At least not yet. But you know what, you guys? You tell me in the comment section. Do I have a problem? I, I, am I really that addicted to Luminous Stone? Okay, we've done that. Okay, now you're going somewhere. <coughs> we are going here. Oh yeah, I have a new stuffy. It's a long cat. It is a very, oh, wrong arm. There we go. It's a very long cat. Um. We got a puppy over here. She's not wanting to show her face today. And that's okay. Oh. Uh, she's allowed to decide she doesn't want to be on camera. Well, that could have been very bad. Like, very, very bad. Because down there, there's Lizalfos, there's a few different whiz robes. You know, I wonder. Are these treated as trees? Okay, yeah. No. Well, wait, maybe that was just too big. Maybe that one was just too big. There's some smaller ones over here. Let's find out. Are they trees? They are trees. And they give wood. Who knew? I have no interest in you. I have interest in you. This is what we came out here for. Do we see the little sparkle? This is the whole reason we came here. And once you start getting in the area of it, just start hit spamming the A button. Chase it, spam A. You will eventually run into it, I promise. Where'd you go? There we go. I found you. Oh crap. So, because we dumb out, we, we, we messed up, we gotta go back to the sh tower. I wrote my notes out of order. Bad chaos.
Okay. Now there was a shrine I was supposed to pick up. I believe it's this one. Because it's something that could be seen from the tower. And that's the only one I can really see from the tower. Uh, starting with next week's stream, I will start saying the date of whenever um, it's going to be posted. Not the date I'm recording, but the date I'm posting it. I, I think that's going to help me. Because, um, like, Valentine's Day came and went, and I didn't even say anything about Valentine's Day. I hope everyone had a wonderful Valentine's Day, though. This was the shrine. I remember this area well. We're just gonna go right on past it because there's some more luminous stone right over here. We're just picking up some stones. Oh, green rupee. A rupee is a rupee. And here's the stone. And I broke my sword on it. Because I forgot to change it. And I know I have only like 18 luminous, oh, probably like 20 right now, 20 luminous stone on this one. I had 50 on the other, in my main account. I have 50 luminous stone to turn in. But every time I see luminous stone, just going right for it. Okay, we're going to get this done real quick. We're going to use normal arrows. Come on. Let me move things. Oh, there's the arrow. My arrows are precious. Okay, I think we're good. Let's see, yep, we turned all of you to fire. So that's good. Pick up. And no, hey, drop it. And we open that. However, I want to get that chest there. So we're just going to... Nope. 
bangers. I'm just gonna turn him right around. going to fly. Oh, nope, that is not how we fly. Quickly. There we go. We find out what's in here. A thunder blade. Nice. Pick up the extra arrows, and then we go on our merry way. And we finish the shrine. It's that easy. We're going to be going into Gerudo Town, so of course we need to dress the part. Okay, so I do not have the funds to do this part in this uh, game. However, I will show you where they are. Um, we are going to go... Hey, what are you? Nope. We'll find out in my main game what, who you are. But right now we are just going to go... Get us ourselves a sand seal. Let's seal the deal. So, oh crap. Um, we are going way down here. And we are going to be going right into the sandstorm. The sandstorm is not necessarily difficult. It's difficult to navigate. But as long as you're careful, you can do it without too much, without too many problems. Knowing the direction you're moving in before you get into the sandstorm is vital. Here we go. We got through the sandstorm. Uh, I'm gonna put on my sneak gear. I'm going to take off all my weapons. It just less noise. And we're going to collect ourselves up some berries. And we got all four. Uh, sure. Oh, I can give you a thousand rupees. Here you go. The next one I believe costs 10,000 rupees and I don't have 100, 500, 1,000 and then 10,000. I don't have the 10,000 but I will show you where the last one is.
Hi, fairy. So, we are going to go over to the shrine. And we're gonna get this done real quick. Oh, yeah, skip. Okay. This uses magnesis for most of it. Let's go, let's go, come on. Okay. Now we take you over here. We raise you up. And we are very careful that we don't knock into the other one. And we ha we let them go. And that powers into here. And then this one was all kinds of tangled. Nope. And you don't want to let it get too close to you because it is full of electricity. As is the chain. So be careful of the chain as well. as I do that again. And this will literally just push you out of the way. Or put you on top of it. Whatever works. We need a bow. Regular arrows are fine. And we work on our aiming. And those will all come to you. You just have to have patience. It is not extremely worth it to swim out to it. Because, like I said, it will all come eventually. If you really want to be impatient, you can push this. But it can do more harm than good. An ancient core. Spring. I could have sworn more than just. Okay, well, you know what? Oh, let's not go over the chain. I'm going to show you before I go out there what happens when you hit into these. Fun, right? Oh crap, I forgot about him.
Did I just kill him by tossing him in the water? I forgot there was a third one. I really did. And yes, apparently the guardians do not like the water. So we are going to go. We are going to go through the thing. those over then yeah so you technically could take care of them all without touching anything now there's this little thing over here no be careful chaos really wants to take a drink in the water I really just want to go right into that water. And this is a chest that there's nothing else back here. So you wouldn't know that there's something back there. You can kind of see it through that little uh, grate, but most people don't pay that much attention. So we're going to go pick you back up, bring you over here, forward and down. However, there's one missing. So we come here. And we, oh wait, nope. This is one of those fun little puzzles. We take that one. And now they all fit. Okay, I know I move that kind of quick. What you do is you use stasis on... You stasis here, you set it going, then you hit that, magnesis, move that over, set everything back down. Oh yeah, I need to... And I, it did the extra showing because it did move fast the very the first time I did it. And we're just taking this. And showing how unrealistic metal is in this game. But I get it, I just find it amusing. The way the physics works. And we finish the shrine. We're going to come up to to Bentha Tower. Come here. Who's a good girl? 
<laughs> There's a good puppy too. You can put your head here. It's okay. Oh, I am freezing to death. My bad. There we go. Now, this is surprisingly right off the tower, and you can see it very clearly right here. And there's some more luminous stone. And we just come over here. And drop on in. And then we go. <laughs> you were a cute, cute puppy. Sure. 10,000 rupees. You know what? I'll tell you I'll give you 10,000 rupees. I'm sorry. That is everything I did in the last episode, and it's taken a lot less time to get that done. So, I'm still going to stop here because that's where I am in my other episode. You will get to ser see the fairy at the beginning of the next episode because this is where I left off. I had a great time playing. I hope you had a great time watching. And I will see you guys next Tuesday with another episode of Breath of the Wild. Like, subscribe, and comments are always welcome. I do have a Patreon. As always, it's in my description as well as in my About section on the page.